one of the granddaddies of all time. If you're gonna start anything to do with video games, you kinda have to start with the basics. Well, for me, the basics would... The original The original ones. But this was a big deal to me. This was probably when video games were at the height of us being a kid. Two-player game? Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, no, you, you're starting it off. Alright. Yoshi's house? Uh, let's go here. Oh, I love that guy's attack plan. Mario's coming to the first, first line of defense. I'm gonna slide down this hill in my underwear. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play. Let's let's just say we're gonna play this five lives each. If we get more, we get more. If not, first one out. Okay, so you went that way. I'm gonna elucidate you to a few things. You can run in this game. I know. I just it's been a while since I played this. Look! <laughs> don't, don't you dare! Look at you, the creature! <laughs> I'm gonna elucidate you I on how that, to die quick. I got that one guy. Oh. See, you're already ahead of me. I've been ahead of you my whole life. Yeah, like you had to duck that one. You know, Mario is one of those games you call a system seller. Well, it literally came with the with the system. And do you that, remember the like we got a Super Nintendo for Christmas that one year? Yeah. And uh, we we got actually got a, an awesome trio of games. We had uh, Final Fantasy three. Yeah, or Final Fantasy six, as all the all the hip kids refer to it now. Yeah, Street Fighter two and had Zelda: A Link to the Past. And uh, w the only reason that happened is because we kind of we we always came late to the consoles. Yeah, like we didn't get a Super Nintendo till like a year or two after it's already been out. Did I do a butt pound? I uh, don't think so in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a butt pound of a of a certain type. Ooh. Checkpoint. Point of advice. Don't need it. Point of advice, mind your own business, speaker box. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa! Okay. Take the bullet on head first. <laughs> Absorb larger bullets to, uh... To become the bullet. Nice trick. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> That's a tight spot, man. In a tight spot. Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me. And select uh, is your uh, dropping your item down from the window above. All right. Ooh. You know, I like the new Mario games just fine, but there's something about the oh, it was right there. Oh, he just gave you the clap. <laughs> he just clapped me. Okay. See if you could almost beat the level. I'm gonna go this way. We're going <laughs> right. two paths to the same same end. Victory. Uh, shoot. Oh, you missed the opportunity there. That would have been so beautiful. This is the guy I wanted. Look at that guy just walking around naked. Because one jump and these guys are done. We're gonna beat a level. <laughs> That's the goal. We can't. We can't keep dying to these schlubs. Well, I don't know. We used to be better. We're not so hot anymore. You think you're so That's hot? That's lame. That's lame. But I had the more technical level. I'm on the board though. Whip. I like this, uh, this was revolutionary. I know Mario 3 had the map, and I like the idea of kind of moving around, unlocking areas, 
But this, when it's two-player like this, it makes it feel more like a board game. Like, challenge, like, horse. Yeah, so it's like... Just a couple of days... Well, yesterday was the, the end of E3. Yeah. And we've been in kind of a video game mood. It when when all you do is is listen and and talk to people about video games constantly, and it's on the brain, the proverbial brain, the proverbial brain. You kind of want to come back and think about some stuff, and and you know Sony they put on a good show. Xbox did a standard show. They did what they had to. It wasn't bad. They definitely got the the powerful machine coming out. Yeah. Uh, Sony has a better variety of games, I think. I think the tone for... Okay. Look at this bastard. This is your nemesis. He's waiting for you. Psych this out, man. Nice. But, uh... I, we didn't see the Nintendo show. No. I, I kind of checked out on the Nintendo show because they said it was basically going to be devoted to Zelda. Yeah. And not that it, I'm not interested in it, but... Uh... If that's all they're showing, I don't need to, uh, to sit down for a huge conference for that. I'll, I'll hear about it in due time sort of thing. But, you know... So I wanted my own little version of Nintendo tonight. Isn't that right? Well, you know, it's, it's a more uh, serious thing. It's like, uh, today, this evening... I made it like sound like it, like it was a big deal. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go and get a PlayStation 4, but I just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger. Yeah, you... Came there with oh, by by Yoshi, uh, with all the intentions of doing this. I was fired up, and uh, when I when it came when push came to shove, I just couldn't do it. And you know, I, I got a 3DS, which for a, a guy kind of on the move and kind of solitary stuff, like you can bring that and play it and, on a break somewhere if you're working. I like the idea of a 3DS, and in my mind. That's Nintendo's real hallmark, is they're the best at handheld games. Yeah. But I was also... You know, a lot of people scoff at the, the Wii U, but it's always an option. And you know what? It's a cheaper option, and... Oh, I can't believe I made it through that. You got it. it it's the cheaper option, and I think it's versatile. Uh, like, there, there's so much you can do with a 3DS. And it's, it's why I still have one. For me, it's my Smash Brothers machine. Yeah. And uh, I got it just for that. But it's not just that. I, I've learned there's so much more cool stuff on there. And uh, it even kind of works as a pocket PC, like a, like a phone. Yeah, somewhat. Uh, you can get, like, YouTube and videos on it. It's a very useful little, little gadget. I'm going to get this, whatever this is. I kind of forget... Oh, this is Coin Central, it looks like. Have you ever seen a fat man run through a, a treasure trove? Nice. <laughs> Switch Palace. All right. Which place? So you've uh, you've now effectively made my levels easier by doing that. So here we go. Look at all them blocks. Let's keep let's keep playing this. Might as well continue and save. That's you, oh, your that's first me. player. Yeah. You know what's weird? Because when you and I were kids and we played Mario. I'd always want to be Luigi because I was typically bigger than you yeah. most of our life, but you're bigger than me now, so this is a more proper fit, and you're kind of lame like Luigi. <laughs> like the, what was that, the the game theorists? Yeah. I can see that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna contend with it. Uh, Luigi, over time I learned, was the little brother. Anyways, ooh, what am I doing? We gotta go up. There's probably like a beanstalk in there or something. Yes. Swim! Oh, you can swim faster than that. No, I can't! 
Wow, that was that was miserable. What a waste of a star. Hit that um that uh Oh you really need that shell to hit that block to drop the P block which turns those coins into a bridge. I'm trying to slam dunk these guys like LeBron. Can't you like jump swim? Oh, oh you did it. What what the <laughs> heck? No fireballs for me! Wow, that doesn't feel like I did that the right way at all. <laughs> it was so stupid. Boy, that's a serious uh, penalty. <laughs> yeah, he's just so, like some common magician up there at the top of the screen, pointing your finger. I could just see these Japanese uh, programmers saying, all right, now you need to do a, a minute run up and then hook jump up to the top here. And then up there you can't throw fireballs and you've gotta you've gotta really cheese this game out to get ahead. Okay, I'll I'll come clean. I never ever beat a Mario game. You've come close a bunch of times. Um I'd say your closest was Mario 2. Yeah, I, I did manage to make it to Wart and get a few hits on him. Yeah. But uh, it was just too much for me. I just at the time I didn't have the skills. Those were the days of the the, the good old days of uh, the strategy guides. I used to love those. We used to have a collection that you could probably fill a bookshelf nowadays with. It was like playing the game without playing it. It was uh, a let's play before YouTube. Yeah, you drum on it and nope. You can't punch those guys. No, you you have to knock them off from the other side. Yeah. I can't punch those guys. <laughs> no, the Mario Brothers not exactly known for their punching mechanics in these <laughs> games. Well, they're in Smash. Yeah, but Mario is is an anomaly in Smash. He's just a freak of nature. Doom 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 doom. All right. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I think we. Oh, you whoa! Just... Whoa! whoa. whoa. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> Jeez, he's after me. <laughs> he's right on you. I always like the name of those uh... Koopa Troopas. No, those uh, flaming things. What were they? Potaboos. Potaboos. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was really a mind-blowing game uh, for somebody jumping from the Nintendo to this. Like, it's 3D and there's two planes of existence. You can be on the front of the fence or the back of the fence. Game mechanics all over the place. And the cape, we haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that was the best thing ever. Shoo! <laughs> what kind of crap castle is this? Oh, I remember being really terrified of levels like this, especially when uh, the ghost, the booze started. Ooh, oh, it was getting closer than that. Took a little off the back. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I push him, push him, push him. Ah, killed him. Killed him. Ended his life in the lava. Alright, so you got the boss kill, so I did all the work for you leading up to it. That's that's Luigi just carrying the load. Was this story all about saving Yoshi eggs? I think so. Yoshi's friend, then we can go to Donut Land, which I'm in favor of. Let's go to Donut Land. I don't know what they have there. Apes, but they're not as big. Eggs, but they're shaped like donuts. <laughs> I wish we were going to Candy Apple Island. <laughs> we're going to Ape Island. Alright. Now that we're back in the saddle, this feels so natural, like we never missed a beat. Whoa! Yes. Fly, you fool. 
<laughs> How do you do the thing? Yeah, you pull back. I tried. I was I was hitting all the buttons. Oh, there's another shot. <laughs> the old fastball of the noggin puts Luigi out. He's down. Oh my goodness, that was embarrassing. I was all hyped for the cape, and then I just do one huge jump and slide headfirst into this guy. All right, Mr. Cape, let's see you do it. Oh, okay. See? And that's the level. <laughs> you see me going? <laughs> That was the joy of the cape, is going the whole level with it. Yeah. Not bad for a guy who's out of practice for 20, 30 years or something. Right. We've got a cape, a dinosaur, and a large Italian man. Oh! oh. Okay, I just got two. You just got outside blitzed by four <laughs> linebackers there. Yeah. Alright, you want to see flying capes? Huh? Here we go. Come here, you. Hey, don't mess it up, though. Get out of here. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> oh, so much joy. Oh, you see, shot. Oh, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I just hit him with my chest. Oh, well, that's like the chest bump of the ages. <laughs> the, the softest landing ever. Oh, get out of here. Oh, you were right there, too! 20 more yards of, of, of uh, floating through the air. <laughs> that was a huge appeal. The cape was, was ridiculous. What do you got me running to here? This looks... Oh, the scrolling levels. Right. Buzzy Beetle. Buzzy Beetle. Flying pickle. That's what I always thought those were. Okay, nice. fine. <laughs> I didn't want your your corpse anyways. How do you do that spinny thing? It's this button. Oh. Uh... I love the sound effects in these games. Well, they're just the iconic video game sounds. Everything. Pickles! Pickles! Yeah, I forget if you can jump on those guys. I don't even want to test it. Ooh. Yoshi, save me! Why are some of those pipes different colors, or is it just for the sake of color? I remember there was a few you could jump in and out of in, in the early levels in this game, but my memory of those wasn't as sharp as the original Super Mario Brothers. Man, I knew I knew the first four worlds of that almost inside and out, because that's that was about as good as I was when I was a little kid. I never really uh I never really took the time to master this game. Well, I never really mastered any Mario game. But to get an intimate knowledge of, of one aspect of it, you know? Yeah. Ooh, get over there! Oh, I'm okay. Like, Mario 2 was a very interesting game for me. I remember the jump from 1 to 2... Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Oh, yeah. I panicked. Don't worry, little brother's here. And he's got a cape. And I've got another one in the chamber. Mario 2 had this one. Oh, nice. oh no. Woo! That was a clutch hop. I had to hit that. Toss him away, man. He's coming alive! I didn't know. Hopefully he gets killed. He's coming alive, man! The beetle! Oh, come on! Jump on him! Hit him! No! Stay there! Oh! <laughs> I forgot that they come alive in your hands. How could you forget that? Because I usually just kind of pick them up and throw them. Like, immediately. I never... I never, I was worried about bouncing him back into me. And then he just came back alive. Oof. Okay, so the spin attack powderizes them. Just yeah. pulverizes just these evaporates things. Evaporates these foos. You not. We have to make it to a castle at least. We did. Well, like uh, the proper castles with the spikes coming down to the thwomps. I remember that was one of the most thrilling things to experience in the in this game. As it was completely thrilling. I was there, the Mushroom Kingdom. I was there, just now. I would see if he can jump. Oh, yep. Do, 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 do. All right. That's worth it in and of itself. Oh, see ya. I need that. A blue shell? You can do your spinny thing on it, can't you? I could. I got plenty of time. I just want to see what, what's up, you know? Yeah, what the deal is with that. Why would that be a thing? I have no clue. It's not like you have to come jump from that height to land on it. Back it in. Back it in, man. Maybe you get points? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that was. Oh, Michael Jordan. I found a secret. <clears throat> that There's nothing intuitive about that. Well, you know, as you get You know what that was? The Switch Palaces. That was a one-up shell. Was it? Like, you, you remember the trick where you used to be able to bounce a shell against a wall? Mm -hmm. And then just keep right, racking you, up you points? Get the first ghost house. I hate this. These terrified me. I did, I'd never like Boo. Uh, the idea, like, when you turn around, they're chasing you. You never like Boo, James, Boo? Wow, they're fast. Yeah, faster than I remember. I'm out of here. Whoa. I thought he had me. Ooh. Ooh. Doing. I was trying to bust that thing. It's one button, it's this button. Yeah, I wasn't landing it though. Which way are we going? Okay. <laughs> Off I go, apparently. Guess the little dude can't do it! I'm missing something here. Well, there's, a, there's obviously an item in that block. <coughs> oh. Good 
music in this game. Yeah, that's the champion right there. Ah, uh, mode seven parallax scrolling. We're just chugging along, aren't we? We're doing all right. But then again, th these are the easy levels. Yeah, these are levels that make you feel good. And it is a good, it is a good series of warm-up levels. <laughs> nice. Watch out for that one. He's flying. <laughs> He's not just a bouncing. It's easy. It's all easy. The levels that... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> were completely built on moving platforms and timing jumps and stuff. I never really liked them. Oh, you're screwed. <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> the necessary head block hits. You might think we suck at this game, but we're actually playing with our feet. Yeah. So... I've been playing with my eyes closed. I've been smelling my way through this game. I've been game. playing with my eyeballs. Do you remember, very vaguely, uh, there was a game, a game add-on that came on that was like a smell vision thing? No. It was... Did you dream this thing? Ah, uh, uh, no. It, it wasn't, like, old. It was fairly new, but it came out around the time of, uh, like... Do you remember Shadow Man and Blood Rain? About that time of the gritty third-person action games? I don't remember Shadow Man. I remember on a show in Canada, it's called Electric Playground, with Tommy Tallarico and Victor Lucas. They were at this one expo, and this company was showing off oh. this system that you could hook into video games and what happened is if you were playing in this level you would smell leaves and it had like these fluid cartridges that you it, it would kind of atomize and send out in the air and I was like man I'd hate to play some games if all you were was in swamps unless uh, you like that smell maybe but you know no I don't recall that at all it was one of those things that it, it, you knew was never going to take off, but the idea was, was enough for them to do a quick little piece on it. It wasn't earth-shattering, but, you know, I think it it's worked on me. As earth-shattering as the Oculus. The Oculus is is a good product. I, I, I have a lot of faith in VR, but I don't think it's going to be around and be a staple like a lot of people are predicting. It's... It's there to be gone soon. Whoa! Remember, you don't have to move on those. <laughs> Not gonna believe me, are you? Oh, one ups all over the place for you. I'm I'm struggling with two <laughs> and you've got seven. What is this? Ten coins, apparently. I guess. I am just a clearing a level clearing machine. I think it's time for me to take on the boss. Do you believe that Rosalina is Luigi's baby? Oh, whoa! Whoa, you we settle down! Invincibility! Oh! Alright. Do you, do you believe Mark that? Mark got a star! <laughs> Mark, 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 Mark! Um, I do. 
I'm a big fan of game theory. Oh, you you shut him down before he even had a chance. Um, I I like it because Nintendo seems to operate in this this uh, the Mario Brothers have equal things sort of element. <laughs> nice. You just left him abandoned, knocked his shell away. Um, I think it adds a layer to the story. Yeah. And I like that layer, so... Uh, yeah, I'll buy into it. Why not? It's harmless to buy into something like that. But the damage... Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down, little buddy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's just so helpless feeling, you know. Shoot! No, who knows how f how long he fell in game. These pits are endless. Take that. <laughs> Smash you with it. I'm going. Goombas. Take it. All right. Take your time. Hurry up. The choice was mine. I didn't think enough. No, oh. you always miss those coins. Come on, clear this level, Aaron. No, you made fun of my coin message. I'm gonna get that coin. Oops a daisy. Oops a magi. Oops a daisy. Oh, I thought you got him one shot. How, how, how come you're always wrong about any assumption in this game? Oh, at least Luigi gives me some measure of strength. One hit stomps with regardless. I, did, I didn't want the, uh, the invincibility star. Ooh. You! <laughs> Can you imagine if Goombas were real? That's actually kind of freaky when you think about it. Living mushroom people? Living mushroom people with wings? Yeah, and not the cute mushroom people like toads. I don't find toad cute. I think it's maybe because you had your your idea of toad was colored by the cartoon Super Mario World. Yeah. And he's a mama! <coughs> well done. One take. I suppose, like, people watching this who play Nintendo regularly aren't so impressed with it. Not not with our play. <laughs> no, I mean it's not like we're we're horrible. We we're out of practice. Cute. Like Mario Maker looks like a great game. But the the, oh, the shoot little ones. The video the videos of the high end play it there is almost discouraging. Like it you have no you have no place playing a, a modern Mario Maker extreme high skill level. Yeah. You're just not good enough. So this this I'm I'm alright with this. I'm alright with being average at Mario. Cause quite honestly a lot of people weren't weren't around when we were. <laughs> a lot of people weren't around. Uh, they didn't fight in the 8 bit wars. Yeah, they weren't wars. They were a good time. Yeah, they were a good time. But to be good at video games back then was a, a real point of pride. Not like it is today. No, it was absolutely nothing. It was nothing. So you, you if you were good at video games... Don't worry, I got this. There, there were few, Shoot, I don't got this. <laughs> there were few people that would challenge you in it. Uh... I'd never been challenged. It's just a myth. Well, not challenged like, you know, thing, but it was it was always fun to run across somebody new that was good at games. And uh, we've always had a couple people uh, 
places we've lived and such that were all right. But at the end of the day, I'd say you and you and I were probably considered bigger gamers than most people. Which is strange because we're really not. Oh, I love Dry Bones as a character design. <laughs> you like dead turtles? Whoa, okay, you lucked out there. You were about to be smushed. Finesse. God damn it! I just finessed it. <laughs> I, knew what, I knew what was on the line. Sounds like Snoopy eating the bones. Freak out. I don't know. I'm doing alright. <laughs> and it almost just. Oh! <laughs> Holy heck, I thought you were done there! <laughs> this guy! What?! Oh, it's an AoE stun. Okay, hit stunned. Alright, now it's time for me to, to get a boss. Slay one of these Koopa children. Well, just... <laughs> Snake up the side of this castle and strangle him with chicken wire. It made me get off Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi don't want none of this. Oh, you can't even touch them. Oh! <laughs> Settle down, Aaron. You have everything to lose. Nothing to gain. I need to keep up with this. You, ha you already have one of those awful children slain to your name. Pot of booze. Pot of booze. And thwomps. Fire ghosts. That's actually a scary thing, huh? Fire ghosts? Well, yeah, I mean... I, n I never get behind people that are overly scared about ghosts because they really can't do anything to you. They can scare you. They can scare you. Oh, no. But fire ghosts... There's something there. Oh! <laughs> I can see you <coughs> smiling there. Aaron trying to do his best to hot dog you, you grandstand. Can, you can try as much as you like, but you'll never be older than me. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> not in the current, not in the current technological the current climate gym. we're in. Ah, get away from me! You can only jump on those things. Oh. I want to get those coins because I uh, have one life left. I need all the coins I can get. And I'm almost to uh, another one up, so. Time to bang our head on the ceiling. Finesse, eh? Yep. That's the only thing that's gonna save you. And you lost it. Okay, didn't get the timing down on that one, but we'll get it next time. Here we go! 
Yeah. Oh no! Oh, look at this fall. Dang! And Aaron's out of the game. We'll get back to this. You've got to. You get one shot at this. This guy. All right. And we'll call it. No, just just hit B or something. All right. Your chance. I ain't taking no no charity lives. <laughs> Watch out! I know. As a kid, I really enjoyed uh, the Bowser's Castle levels. Um, I think every kid has done that where in their notebooks they've drawn castles and stuff with swinging balls and fire pits and uh, spike traps. I didn't do that. Oh, that, that was my jam. And uh, the margins of a lot of my notebooks used to be filled with, with stuff like this. All the ways I was going to create a dungeon to keep, uh, well, I guess, kill people. Who are you? The, ab the abdominal doctor vibes? Uh, mostly. I guess, I guess when you're ten years old you can be whatever you want in your, your journals and notebooks. My diary. My dairy. My dairy. Dear dairy. That feather. It makes all the difference. It doesn't let you take another hit, though. Like, the fire flower, you lose the fire ability. Yeah. But you're still big. The cape does nothing for you. You take the hit. You're little Mario again. Yeah, but it's safety with jumping, though. Yeah, you can hover a little bit and slow down your fall. <laughs> just a little over. I'm gonna shift it this way, just a little bit. Nice hit. Oh yeah, that'll kill me. Go, go, go! Safing. Yep. What? Oh. Instant kill? Well, heck. I think that's that's it for uh, the journeys uh, to Morton Downey Jr.'s castle. We'll catch you next time. Yeah, this this will not stand. So we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next 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 adventure. Till then, ciao and goodbye. <laughs>